In this video we're going to learn how to export a recording of your robot actually moving so that if you need to turn in the robot. So when you're ready to turn it in, the first couple steps are number one, try to center the robot as best possible and also rotate it in a fashion that you can see the majority or all of the robot movement. So when it records, it'll record the screen only and not the teach pendant that we're going to pull up, just kind of show the different uh, runnings that we're going to do. So let's pull up the teach pendant so we can see the programs. And right now I have my oval up, so if you go select, um, you can pull up your program and then hit enter, it'll pull up the program that you're running. Always do a couple of checks before you turn it in. So this one we already checked a couple in a couple of videos before this. And we're going to now record our movements. So we're going to be at 100% movement. We're going to turn off our teach pendant. And then we're going to go instead of cycle start, we're going to go to start and record AVI file. So this automatically runs the robot and also records the robot and the screen that you see behind our teach pendant. So we're going to hit record and it'll automatically start. And don't worry about the teach pendant, it will not show up on the actual video, which is why we centered our robot video. So it's running through, showing the different path. Coming back up and then coming down. There we go. And then it will tell you exactly where it's safe. So don't go closing this yet. Uh, just make sure that you look at this was created in users, documents, my work cells, programming. So it's being created in the actual work cell that the all the files are for this actual project. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to go to my folder. And I'm going to go to documents. And I'm going to go to my work cells. And then here's the folder for my programming and motion instructions. And then I'm going to go up to AVIs. And then here's my AVI file. So I already made a couple different files. Um, this one going to be the newest version of that file. So this is the one we just recorded. So if I double click it, we'll be able to run it. There we go. So it's kind of grainy. So it gets the point across. That's all we need. We can do a little bit better video if we're exporting this to an actual showing a client on the movement. Uh, but for this, we just want a lower style so it's easier to upload things. But again, it gets the point across. There we go. And that's what you upload. If you want to hide the path, you just go over to where it says Profiles. And you can just right click and go Hide. Or if you want to get rid of it, just right click and go delete all and it deletes that path. 